control this is not a spring chicken. I don't know about you, but this week is like, it's one of those weeks that you get, can I say, squirrely. Now, I'm not squirrely, it's because Easter just happened, and the Toyota Grand Prix is going on, we're getting ready to go to a trade show, and like, this is our in-between time when we have to get stuff on. I'm getting anxious for con, and... Okay, you get the picture. <laughs> Meanwhile, news still continues, and we're going to bring old Kent Mom with comments on the headlines of today. Congressional budget yet again says Obamacare would raise deficit. He says it will decrease the deficit. Okay, I know Rex is here today, and as, as people know by now, Rex is Rex basically wants to work for Fox Network, so he worships the very ground the president walks on. So I have to cover his ears when I say. Uh, I heard this morning said by one of the Democrats that voted, that basically did vote against Obamacare in the House. Mm -hmm. He said, there are lies, there are goddamn lies, and then there's the lies that our president tells about health care. Aha! Uh -huh. So, he said, that, he said it does not cut the deficit. It, it basically triples the deficit. And they said by the time, by the time it gets done, it's going to add $17 trillion to the deficit because it's going to cost more. Ration, look at that. Here's a simple thing that Rex doesn't want to hear. All you got to do is to take a little bit of that money and pay for in health insurance for the uninsured, and everybody is covered. Well, that's all you have to that's do. That's all you have to do is to pay for the thing. I mean, like it runs, what, $12,000 a year? You know how much $12,000 a year across like 10 million people comes to? It sure as heck doesn't come to $17 trillion. And cracks emerge in Centaurum's evangelical support. Not anymore. <laughs> I know that got taken care that of. That got morning. taken care of this morning when he suspended his uh, his campaign for the presidency because he, he has to, uh, it, you know, he's got a critically ill daughter and the family should come before running for the presidency, which now makes him a hero and Romney a horse's ass. Uh huh. Because what did Romney, Romney do? Romney basically went on a massive attack campaign against Santorum, knowing that Santorum had taken his daughter, who was in critical condition, to the hospital, and he's trying to back off. Well, I didn't. Well, he knew he could have stopped it. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that it's it's why the Republican Party elders want Romney in because they know that if Romney wins, he's one of them. If Romney loses, they have the issue. See, it's a no-lose thing for the Republican leadership. The, 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 okay, they want to show you what Republicans do when they don't like a candidate. This is what Republicans do. They put their hands in their back pocket and set on them. They will not vote for the man. Uh, and suspect in dismembering says he met woman online. <laughs> okay, here's a tip off. Do not go out with people that you meet online. It almost always ends up in a disaster. Are you serious? You know how many people, I think most of the people meet people online now. Uh, it's a stupid mistake because um, how many people do you have to get killed before you figure out that there are things you don't do? They tell you you don't go out with people you don't meet online, you don't give people your home number or your phone number you meet online, and you don't post where you're going to be online because it tells all the people that want to rob you that you're not there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you tell them the truth online. Yeah. <laughs> right? And yeah. seven-year-old boy tied to Alaska arson fires. I, okay, a seven-year-old boy cannot be an arsonist. A seven-year-old boy can be, uh, be caught playing with fire. There's a difference. That I, it, is, it is playing with fire at seven years old. It is arson when you get to be a teenager. And North Korea rocket installed on launch pad. Obama has basically oh, they, they did the worst thing that could be done today. You what? know what? Hillary shook his finger at him. Ooh. And when she did, Obama figured that's going to put the scare of the lifetime in Hillary in, the, in them because when Hillary, we you know you're violating the rules. Uh, everybody but Obama knew that that's exactly what they do after they got what they wanted from you. Ooh. And t um, t bowling on Easter, it's our Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. But well, we is, talked about that one yesterday. We talked about it yesterday. But it's, put it this way, the uh, a-holes out there that don't like the Christians. Okay, here's one person said yesterday who just happened to be named Muhammad and is a football player. He, he said, you know, that we should have our day. Mm -hmm. And I'll guarantee you that if a Muslim held an event like that that plays football, 
there would be applause across the spectrum of the uh, of the news media because that shows uh, shows you know what they feel is right. Which is this morning it gives you it brings to political correctness another thing, which basically Rex did find in the news because Rex basically does use papers. You know, basically this is laying up on, on them. Now, it was in the Los Angeles Times, which I shouldn't say because they got it from the New York Times, who got it from the Olympic News. Who got it from the... Who got it? No, the Olympic News basically, uh, they passed this politically correct rule because they know that Muslim women cannot appear in swimsuits, so they were going to let them wear uh, jumpsuits and shirts and jackets and stuff. And um, they discovered that most of the women, include the Muslim women, don't want to wear Olympic suits to play volleyball in because they want to win. And the women that are let, why they wear the bikinis, there's two reasons. One, it attracts the audience, both male and female. And two, because it, re, it is unrestrictive in their movements. And you basically, you don't want to have lots of material hanging on you when you're diving out. I know, out you really don't. And now available, all you can read digital magazine service. That's another one that, that what he discovered when he was doing a number two. What? Uh, uh, they've had that service for a long time. I thought they had that. But it's news. It just they they did they did found they found that out today in the press that there is an on there is a digital magazine service. Oh. You'd be surprised what Rex can find when he has to go do his thing on the paper. He is potty trained, folks. An electric car prototype increases range to 218 miles. Yeah. It's uh, it basically it's an environmental hazard. It costs like about three hundred thousand dollars, and um, nobody and the battery doesn't work. So other than that, there's no problem. Yeah, other than that, and time to tap into oil reserves again. I know. Basically, that what it does, it reduces the price of oil in the United States by four or five cents for a week, mm -hmm. but it drains the reserve, which Obama finds advantageous, because he won't refill the reserve because he doesn't believe in oil. Oh, I mean. We, I can tell you, we've been invited to green military events on power. How they're going to power the energy of the future for our military is green energy. Oh, really? No, because you can't afford to produce, Obama thinks we need to produce it from algae. And U.S. tells North Korea not to carry out the nuclear test. Well, they basically said, mm. <laughs> Oh, the, the next one is, he told, he ordered the American press this morning, do not cater to the North Koreans and what they're doing because they'll get, they'll get a swelled head if they think the American press is interested. Well, they basically, when he ordered the press not to get involved, guess who's now en masse to uh, North Korea to watch the, the test? Oh, are you serious? Oh yeah, they're all going because he basically, we're talking, the, the President of the United States has said one moronic thing after another, after another, after another. Was he, that new? <laughs> that, no. Okay, they, That's not new news. They, okay, when he's off the teleprompter, he speaks exactly like he really is. He is a very educated and controlled man when he's reading things, but when he's not, he's not charming, and he becomes a Chicago, uh, Chicago politician. And as my mother, who was from Cicero, and I would tell you, well, those people couldn't lick the boots of a person in Cicero. And seasoned producer at Center of NBC Pro into shooting story error. Ah, you, here is the rumor. The rumor is the producer was black. Oh really? So not, what difference does that make? Uh, because it, he he cut it to make it look like a white man had did the killing, and then uh, found out it wasn't a white man. It was a Latino that happened to have a name called Zimmerman. Uh, there are Jews in the Latino race, folks. Remember, they used to be all over. Uh, uh, all over Spain, and and they came here. So, and time to tap into the oil reserves again. I know she liked that when she read it again. I know. Well, you is it again? Yeah. Okay. U.S. tells North Korea not to carry out the nuclear test. I know test. that's the same as before. Uh, si simple hypo simply hypocr hypocrisy. Oh, that's uh, Obama I can't slam his Romney remarks. Oh yeah, because it is hypocrisy because Obama slammed Romney. Basically, this is the one thing that the people on the right and the left can all agree on in the press that? that this is going to be the dirtiest election this nation has ever heard because they got that what happened is the DNC is throwing an ungodly fit because the Republicans bought the rights to use things that Obama's been saying. 
and this is going to be the dirty. He said, that in order to beat those, uh, in order to beat those effing Republicans, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to run the dirtiest campaign this nation has ever seen. And then they ran his, you know, if the Republicans bring a knife, I'm going to bring a switchblade. If they bring a switchblade, I'm going to bring a gun. If they bring a gun, I'm going to bring a rifle. If they bring a rifle, I'm going to bring a howitzer because we have to bring all those SOBs down. Basically, that, it's a really great campaign commercial because they're only using things that Obama has said. You know, I'm going to be the most bipartisan president in our nation's history. I'm going to work with the Republicans. He's not worked with Republicans once. And Romney faces lengthy to-do list as likely GOP pick. Well, his to-do is you can't get the, the women don't like him, the the lower classes don't like him, and the people on the Christian right don't like him. He's not going to win any of those voters, folks. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, well, uh, well, when you have no time to waste, make certain you have the time to waste if you're going to waste it. <laughs>